Hello there, and welcome to another Starfield video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a another subscriber build. Um, this one is a uh, is a name we haven't seen for a while, and that might not. That's definitely not because I haven't checked my Discord messages in <laughs> quite a while. Um, no, but uh, this is uh, I believe th this is from Boss Dude. This is his uh, Walter. It was originally called something else, but. Uh, uh, we both decided that it might be better not to call it the original name because I might get in trouble for uh, for uh, offending people. Um, which uh, anyway, we'll ignore that. Um, but yeah, this is this is uh, the Walter by Boss Dude. Now, uh, for those of you that may know or may remember, Boss Dude was like uh, he made the first ship I ever reviewed in the channel, uh, the Bell Referent. But that's not how you say it. God damn it! It's <laughs> I still can't... What is it? Bell... Bellerophon. Bellerophon. Beller... Someone will tell me in the comments, okay? Just keep the Magdalene cockpit. Magdalene. Whatever. Just... Yeah. Anyway. Sorry. So, yeah. So, very, very cool ship. Boss dude coming in hard with the... Not only is he making another large ship, but he had to make it green. Because, you know, like the green. Green is very nice color. Now, I will say, boss dude... Um, I know that when I initially, uh, uh, when when you sent me the video about the um, to like to basically talk about the ship and the the terminal and stuff, um, you then change stuff, which you said you change stuff. So I f I kind of got really confused because I didn't realize you had changed stuff, and I was like, wait, what? But yeah, so if I made any mistakes, let me know. I think I got most things, although. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll as we'll get there. But yeah, <clears throat> so this is this is this is pretty much like um, boss dude has kind of said this is kind of like a, a mobile base, basically. Uh, it's a very very nice looking ship. It kind of like like a lot of boss dude's ships, even though like they're not inherently say like Stroud Eklund, but I think they do a good job of being Stroud Eklund. Like a Stroud Eklund was kind of making more combat y kind of ships, you know, with more like armored. So it's got a fuel of 840, which is a very lot of fuel, but you kind of need that, considering. Uh, it's got a hull of 1,543, which is very, very nice. Carry capacity of 10,180, which, that's a lot of cargo. You could probably fit all of my ships in your cargo holds. Uh, it's got a crew, I was gonna say, a crew of 40. It does not have a crew of 40, but I wish it did. It's got a reactor, a 40-class reactor, C-class 40 power. Uh, crew of 11, which, is that the high, I think that's the highest I've ever seen, a crew of 11, which is pretty interesting. I thought you could only get like 10, anyway. Uh, it's got a jump range of 27 light years, uh, 1600 shields. It's got uh, some particle weapons uh, hidden, you can see them hidden there, some uh, particle weapons. Some ballistic cannons, making great use of those ballistic cannons. I very much like. And then it's got some EM weapons. <clears throat> now, the price to build this is probably going to set you back around 600k. It's a very expensive ship. Uh, but nothing but the best from Boss Dude. So, yeah. So, let's let's go take a look at it, shall we? As Okay, I can just about afford it. God damn. <laughs> I really need to get some more credits. Oh, there it is. Huh. Hey, like, same color as the third target. We're matching. So, really cool ship. One thing I will say is, I like these little kind of weapon ports in here. So you got a little window where you can, like, look out. And you can see you've got, like, the particle cannons there. And then you've got those big cannons. They're very nice. Quick little kind of go around the sides. A lot of windows. Which I really like. It's very, like, streamlined. Very, like flat, which I quite like. I think it does a good job of kind of, you know, like keeping it nice and streamlined while also being, like, still quite large. Alright, the quick jump there as I got my thumbnail. Anyway. So if we enter through the front. Now, I'm pretty sure I got most of the layout right, boss dude, but there was one thing that kind of confused me a little bit. Because uh, we'll, we'll see when we get there, but I'm pretty sure you, you like, said to use like a three by two mess hall from Tayo. But Tayo don't do a mess hall. I think I understood what you meant though. I think you meant to say two by two. So start off here, we have a 
I believe this is this is the Hope Tech um the Hope Tech brake slash armory. And then we've got the we've got the I'm, I'm drawing a blank here, sorry, we've got some weapon cases here. And we've got some store Ah yeah, okay, I remember now. I thought it was backwards, so then we have the docking port there. And then if we head this way into the first area. So in here we have these are the three by two cargo uh, areas. Now I've in the past I've said this before. Normally I'm not really a fan of these, but like they make sense with the ship build because you know the build of the vessel. Um, they are very very cool. It fits in the build also. Um, now there's there's two of these overlapping. Just looking. Is this? Yeah, okay, okay. I'm just making sure. And if we head over here, we've got another one on the other side. Same as before. Really, really nice. Like, these these rooms are always, like, really cool. The only downside is they don't actually add much. Like, they don't add anything cargo-wise, and I feel like they should. But all over. There it is here. Is this it? No. Ah, here it is. So this is kind of cool. So this this is kind of one of the redeeming things. Boss Dude sent me a video and he was explaining this, which thank you for telling me that. I didn't know this thing. These rooms, you can actually access your cargo via via these little terms. And that's very unique because I'm pretty sure these are the, he said, uh, these are the only ones that actually have these, which is really, really cool. Now, if only we could get these on the outside. Anyway, then if we head over this way we come over this way and we have so we have a an all-in-one uh, berth here <coughs> and then back here we have another one and then we have another one these are not so I I'll be back I'll be back Alright, so I knew I made a mistake here. Uh, so if we come back here again. Um, in here is supposed to be... Is it over here? Is it this way? No. Those uh, three all-in-one berths that I was walking through initially, they're not supposed to be all-in-one berths. Here we go. Okay. So they're actually meant to be an armory, uh, an infirmary, and a science lab. So over here... We have the weapon workbench and the industrial workbench. So this is our uh, armory here, or our not armory, our work, workstation. And then we have our infirmary next. And then finally, we have our science lab. Now I will say, boss dude, in the video you sent me, you were like explaining to me how like do the ladder system. And I know I used an excuse in the last video that I was sick and that's why the ship uh, might be wrong, but um, I'm going to use that excuse a little bit again. Uh, I couldn't get it working. And it's probably just because I'm an idiot. But anyway, so yeah, so then over here we've got, um, this is a living quarters. This is a tile living quarters. I really like it. Got to love that used couch or used... Uh, couch as well that and then if we come over this way this is our um, tile another living quarters i really like the tile uh, like uh, the hope tech living quarters like this this little area is really really cool feels like proper lived in and then we got like the toilet here very nice oh no no first aid and then if we head up to the next level. I always enjoy these moments. Thanks, Andrew. Up here and over here to one side, we have the battle station, the demo's battle station. Very nice, I quite like. Got a nice little view at the back there. Some views on the side. We've got a lot of computers here for your crew to assess all of the uh, damages and make sure all the weapons are online. And then that is. How do I read this? I always wondered, what does this say? 
comms, fire support, control systems. Uh, ship to ship. Oh, ship to ship comms. SATCOM, flight deck. We, we don't have a flight deck. Don't get my hopes up, Starfield. But anyway, very nice. And then if we head over this way, I believe we have a computer core. Yeah, we do. Really cool room. The computer core is not very used an awful lot, so I really like the use of a boss dude. Also, I love this little area in here. It's very, very cool. And then we've got more computers and stuff. This is, I'm assuming, where you would store all your navigational data and stuff. This is very essential. And then if we take this, we have another living quarters. This is the Nova Galactic living quarters, I believe. You can tell it's Nova Galactic because it actually looks really not. Oh! We have pool tables? There's pool tables? Can I play pool? Where's the, where's the pool balls? That's so cool. I remember I did a review not too long, or one of the first reviews I did. I can't remember what ship it was. But somebody mentioned asking me if I got the pool table working, and I thought they were gaslighting me, because like, I didn't know there was a pool table. And I was trying to like spawn this pool table. I was like, there is no pool table. What is this guy on about? But apparently there is a pool table. That's so cool. And then we have a very nice, nice little cozy area that we can watch some TV on. And then if we head out this way, and we open up this way, we have, this is the captain's quarters, the Tayo captain's quarters, nice and cozy. Nice little bathroom there. And then I believe if we go this way, we can get the other. This is, what is, this? is this an all in one berth? Yeah, this is an all in one berth, I believe. See, this is the one I usually get. This doesn't have a pool table, but I think they're different. So we got a bathroom there, nice little storage closet. And I believe that is it. This. And then we head upstairs to the final part of the vessel. Alright, so. I really like this. Uh, this is, I'd say, like, I, I always, like, say, like, oh, this is my favorite bridge. That is my, but I really like this one. It kind of reminds me of Elite Dangerous. When I first started playing Elite Dangerous, the first ship I saved up to was the Type 9, or the Type 6, I think it was. And I just loved, like, that kind of open, like, cockpit, like, almost like you're, like, kind of like you're in, like, a, like, a big rig or, like, a, like, a freighter. A freight ship. You just, like, you got a lot of view. Anyway, let's take her off, see how she performs. <clears throat> and just going off with the stats, she a bit uh she a bit heavy. So as always, I have a perk that increases my power by five, so the second is engine. So weapon wise we've got three sets of weapons. We've got those particles there. We've got the ballistic cannons that make me think I'm having like a spasm because they fire so fast. And then the PM weapons there. Quick little boost speed of I believe it's going to be 130 and we're using C-class engine so it's 130. Boost speed's probably going to be around 500. Oh no, okay 400. Quite slow, quite slow, but it is what it is. <clears throat> a quick little agility test, as you can see. Yeah, she's not not the slowest, but definitely not the fastest. Probably kind of like smack bang in the middle. I think it has 50 mobility. Yeah, it's too slow. All right, so that's the ship. Now we're gonna go down. I wish we had it. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Alright, so here we are in the, uh, in the teardown of the, the ship. So we'll start off at the top here. So the top section we have, um, the Overseer 300 Bridge from Hope Tech, 300 Cargo to Crew Station. We have the Assurance SG-1800 Shield Generator, C-Class, 12 Power, 1600 Max Health, uh, 5% Regen. And then we have the J-52 Gam Gamma Grav Drive from Relodyne, C-Class, 11 Power, uh, 50 Jump Throws, which gives 27 in the current configuration. Then we have the SF-40 Sheared Flow Reactor from Dogstar, C-Class, 40 Power, 13, 15 Hull. And then we have a load of these Hope Tech Cap A's. So there's, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 16 of them. So these are like pretty, there's like different versions of these. You just basically flip them. Let me uh, let go of that. Uh, let me put that back. Where was it? Perfect. Second level of the vessel. We have the Tayo Captain's Quarters 2x1. Hope Tech Companionway 1x1. The Deimos Computer Core 2x2. The Battle Station 2x2. The Nova Galactic All in One Berth and the Nova Galactic Living Quarters. <coughs> and then uh, for the structural pieces, we've got four windows on this side, four windows on the other side, the portholes for Nova Galactic. We've got four of these Stroud Cap A, two at the front, two at the back, three of these Stroud Nose Cap Bs at the front, and at the back here, we have two of these Stroud Engine Bracers. On the third level of the vessel, these windows also need to go there. I do apologize. And the portholes go right there. And there's another one. Goes right here. And then third level of the vessel. The front here, we have the Hope 11 Docker from Hope Tech. The Hope Tech Armory <coughs> 2 by one We've got the Stroud Cargo Hall 3x2, another Cargo Hall 3x2. We've got the Stroud Workshop 2x1, the Infirmary 2x1, and the Science Lab 2x1, and then we've the Tayo All-in-One Berth 2x1 Top A, and the All-in-One Berth 2x2 Top A. There was no mess hall, was there? No, okay. And then we have the Stroud Engineering Bay that I completely missed when I was doing the review. God damn it. I do apologize. Um, how did I miss it? But there's, a, there's an engineering bay there. I do apologize, boss dude. Uh, then we've got the engine at the back. We've got the Poseidon DT-230 engines from Panoptes. I don't know why that was hard to say. Uh, C-Class, 4 power, 34,520 engine thrust and 11,600 maneuvering thrust. Very nice. And then weapon rate. We've got six of these Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors A Class, 4290 range, 6.65 fire rate, 11 hull and shield, 2 power. And then we've got six of these Vanguard Hellfire Auto Cannons B Class, 1114. Are these also the same? No, okay. Uh, 1144 range, 7.5 fire rate, 18 hull damage, and 2 power. And then for the structural pieces, we've got two of these nose cap Ds on one each side. We have two, four of these horizon weapon mounts, two inside here, and then two inside the other side. And then we have um, some of these Deimos bumpers. So we've got two of these forward-facing ones, support and starboard. Four of these uh, middle bumpers, and then two of these aft bumpers, one on each side. And then we've got two of these Hope Tech Nose Bs there. And then on the bottom level of the vessel, we have the Hope 4 Landing Bay. And then we've got more of these weapons mounted here. And then underneath, we have the EMP-1000 Suppressors from Ballistic Solution Incorporated. C-Class 1144 um, range, 0.8 fire rate, 54 electromagnetic damage, 4 power each. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, eight of these NG-20 landing gear wide from Nova Galactic, four thrust. <coughs> I believe these are the best uh, landing gear in the game in terms of just the thrust. They look really cool. Also, yeah, you can, like, customize them quite a bit. It's really nice. We've got four of these uh, 500T Helium-3 tanks from Ballistic Solutions Incorporated. Um, 
And then we have we have four of these 40T hauler cargo holds from Sexton Shield System, 1270 each. And then we've got four of these Galleon S203 cargo hold protector system, 1200 each. And then for the structural pieces, we've got two of these Stroud Cap A bottom. We've got two of these Stroud Nulls Cap Bs. We've got two equipment plates here. And then at the back, we have two more of these Stroud Cap As. And then we have the belly aft from Deimos. And then to put it all together, you just... Um, let me grab these. Just grab all these. And we just grab these nice and gently. And then this slots in like so. And then this. This again slots in. It sits directly above it like that. And then finally. Sits like that. But it's not going to sit. Why is it not going to sit there? What's it getting stuck on? It sits like that. Oh, it's it's because of the weapons. See, the weapons are slightly glitching in. Let me show you real quick. So I'm just gonna we're gonna put the whole vessel back together. <clears throat> so when you're building this, so something you'll notice here, and this just kind of shows why sometimes you need a merge glitch. So these technically are cutting in, but they're not actually. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So thank you for the submission, boss dude. It's nice to see you back on the channel again. Um, really, really like the ship. Like I said, I do apologize if I made any mistakes on the build. Um, I'm pretty sure I got everything. Um, but obviously, like I said, there was one or two things I feel like I got wrong. Because you, you mentioned like having... like You mentioned like tile uh, habitats like straight down the middle. But I couldn't figure out what you meant. But let me know if I, if, if, if I did misinterpret that. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content and uh, check out some other videos and uh, let Boss Dude know what you think of the ship. And if you would like to submit a ship uh, in my YouTube bio, there is a link to a Discord. You can hop in the Discord and there is a ship submission section. Or if you just want to chat about all things Starfield. Thanks for watching, guys.